How's it going, everybody? Um, today, I went out and drove my car for about 10 minutes, and I found a problem with it. Listen, see if you can hear it. That's the clutch pedal. Um, it doesn't do it whenever you start driving, like right when you start driving, you gotta drive the car for about 10 minutes, and then it and it slowly starts, and it gets louder and louder and louder. Um, but, let me see. What's going underneath the dash here? All right, and there's the gas brake clutch. Now listen. And the car's off right now. So that tells me that it's a problem with the clutch pedal, not with the clutch itself or the linkage or well I guess it could be the linkage but more than likely I'm thinking it's the clutch pedal because I hear it right here in the footwell <clears throat> okay so first take the key off the ignition so it stops beeping <laughs> no but for real first um, what are we using today um, I'm using again this PV blaster um, advanced dry lube with Teflon. Uh, a lot of people have said that if your clutch doesn't have a lot of uh, rubber bushings or anything, you can use white lithium grease. Some people use WD-40, but I live in Texas, so if I were to use WD-40, and I mean, we see temperatures as high as triple digits, low 100, so inside a car, it could easily get 120, 130, and that would start running and probably drip onto my floor mats and all that not so good stuff of course the car passes by so we're just using this dry lube today because this will evaporate and leave the teflon uh, lubricant behind so that nothing will get hot and start dripping on the floor mats or move out of place it'll stay where it needs to be okay so underneath here just to name a few things. Uh, this Miata's footwell's tiny. There, been a little better like that. Okay, so this thing that you're seeing right here, that is your clutch switch. That is what tells your car whether or not your clutch is depressed so that you can start your car. And um, after just pressing on that, you can tell that's not the problem. Oh yeah, that's coming from down here. So I guess what we'll do is just hit all this stuff underneath here with, uh, with a little bit of that dry lube. And what I'm thinking it might be is this uh, connection up here at the top where the spring's at. Well, not where the spring's at. Hold on here. What I'm thinking it might be is right here. Right here, this linkage right here. But we'll have to check it out and see. Alrighty, y'all. I just gave everything underneath here. The uh, both sides of that linkage uh, spray with that dry lube, and actually, I'll end up wiping off the pedal. But you can see it's full of that uh, Teflon coating because it did run. Luckily, I had a towel underneath there to catch it. Um, but both sides of that linkage, both on this side and on this side, um, they both got some of the lubricant. There, that car passed. Okay, so now, check this out. No more squeak. Push it all the way down. Okay. 
See, pushing it all the way down to the floor. No squeak. Alrighty y'all, so that is how you fix a squeaking pedal on a Mazda Miata or really any car that has a manual transmission. Um, I've been dealing with this for a little while and I just haven't taken the time from school to work to get underneath the car or underneath the dash and check it out. But that was literally a five second fix. Um, now all I gotta do is go underneath there, grab my paper towel and clean off the uh, that Teflon on the pedal and we'll be good to go. And I'll give y'all an update in a few weeks here um, just to make sure it doesn't, you know, for whatever reason, come back. Um, but as of right now, it's perfect. It sounds just like the day I bought the car. Um, no squeak, no creaking, nothing like that. Uh, but until then, thank y'all guys, and we'll see y'all later. Bye.